this young man approached me with some good energy. You know, and we shouldn't be looking for energy when we interact with people, you know? And when he approached me, uh, he said, man, I'd like to know more about what you're talking about. And so we just started having a conversation and we exchanged information, but didn't necessarily catch up with each other right away. And in another place, entirely different place, you know, Houston is big, you know, we in this general area, we ran into each other again. And this time we made and we solidified our connection. And today he's our speaker, one of our speakers, and we're excited to have him. And so I went online and looked at some of his presentation. And he has a lot of energy. So I want you to fasten your seat belts and put on your thinking caps, as they say when we were in grade school, open your mind and open your heart and get ready to receive a motivational speaker, author, and business person in this community, J.J. Simmons. Please put your hands together for Mr. Simmons. What's happening? How y'all doing? Y'all feeling wonderful? Absolutely. Um, yeah, man, you know, the energy felt kind of cool up in here just now. Y'all was real mellow and chill and, you know. So yeah, congratulations to you for coming out. But yeah, my name is JJ Simmons. What's my name? JJ Simmons. Yes, please follow me on Instagram, JJ Simmons Fire, the English way, F-I-R-E. But listen, I have a TV show, Thou Show Prosper TV. I actually got a lot of things going on. My brother, uh, Mr. Lawyer right here just reminded me. I do a podcast every Monday that's called Entrepreneur University. And uh, it's phenomenal, but I got a lot of things going on, but I'm gonna simplify for you today. I just wrote my first book, June 1st, so 600 copies in like two months and a half. Y'all hand clap for that. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why that's important. I'm gonna tell you why that's important. Cause I'm really frustrated about 600. I ain't gonna lie to you, it's disgusting to me. But the reason is important because people come out with products and they sell 20 products. Why? Because they focus on the family and friends. Okay? And we don't know how to sell. And I've discovered that it don't matter what kind of business you do, whether you're a vegan nutritionist, whether you're a sexy trainer, you gotta sell. Would you agree? Yes, sir. If you can't sell, you are fried. If you, ain't, if you ain't selling, you ain't making no money. If you ain't making no money, you don't got no business. Would you agree? Yes, okay. So, that's your Prosper TV, that's me. I got 700 plus sub videos online. Um, and I'm everywhere, at least I try to be. Okay, so this is my second book, and this is very important. This is what I want to talk to you guys about today. This is my next book that come out this Saturday. Actually, it's coming out this Saturday. It's called Become a 21st Century Entrepreneur. You can acquire certain traits and skills to be transformed into something, to convert into something. And when I was years ago, years, years ago, you know, I used to rap back in the day, I'm from New Orleans, you know, I used to go by the name King Your Highness, I had long hair, long locks, you know, I had dreads, amen, yeah, I know it's unbelievable, but I did. <laughs> if you go to uh, YouTube and search King Your Highness, U-H-Y-N, that was my rap name, so you know I was a beast, you know, anybody call themselves that, you gotta be a monster, you understand? King Your Highness, and I tell you what's so funny about that, I still run into people to this day that call me that, straight up. But the point was, when I used to rap, <clears throat> I used to look back and I used to see, how many of y'all have seen people that can rap, but ain't making no money? And then you got people that's making money, but can't rap. So and I used to be like, you know, what's going on? And then I discovered the secret, unfortunately, 13 years later, that I wrote in this book. Okay, but for me, thank God, I had some of the skills, but I didn't know it. Okay, so, become a 21st century entrepreneur. In my opinion, you need to have multiple skills in this economy to do business. Would you agree? See, a lot of y'all, for example, I, I was listening to the, the, you know, the crypto guy, you know, and he's talking. To me, that's a sales job. You gotta get up here, communicate your message. Like I asked the question, how can you simplify this for me, for me to understand? Because you gotta learn how to pitch yourself in every environment. That's a sales job. I was talking to a friend of mine a few weeks ago and she got a nonprofit. And I was like, uh, you know, you got to sell that thing, right? Because you make calls, you're trying to set appointments and ask people to donate in your vision. That is a sales job. So, so if you got a nonprofit up in here, guess what? You got to understand that you are first. Everybody say first. first. A salesperson. salesperson. See, we don't want to sell. We don't like that word. I love it. 
Okay? Look at your neighbor and say, you are a salesperson. Okay, so let's talk about that. Become a 21st century entrepreneur. Point number one. You got to become a marketer. Look at this. A person or company that advertises or promotes something. Let me tell you something. Look at this right here. Okay. Facebook. Everybody say Facebook. Y'all ever heard of Facebook? Okay, let me tell you something that's so powerful about Facebook to me. How many of y'all ignoring Facebook? Keep it real. Raise your hand. Ignoring. Ignoring it. Okay, congratulations. Look, one, two. Look at that. Okay. That's very unfortunate. Let me tell you why. Facebook has 2.2 billion active users. What does that mean? Facebook is the third largest nation in the world. I'm originally born in Honduras, okay? I speak Spanish fluently. My mom and my whole family speak Spanish. And I got family in Honduras that 15 years ago, my mama used to have to buy calling cards. Y'all probably, how many of y'all ever noticed the calling cards? Okay, calling cards in the gas station at the corner store to call my auntie to talk on the phone. Guess what? Facebook put that business out of business. Because my mama now got WhatsApp and she got Facebook Messenger and she talked to my auntie for free. So now, years ago, when I first started speaking, I used to have to, I, I mailed my auntie some DVDs for her to watch, you know, me preaching and stuff like that. I don't got to do that no more. I got people that follow me on Instagram that's in Israel, that's in Australia. Instagram has 400 million active users. America, well, you don't know it or not, America only has like 400, 500 million people in America. Facebook has 2.2 billion active users. You got to market to these people, look at this. The world is noisy. It's cluttered with media. No, listen, whether you don't know, nobody is interested in your business, whether you don't know it or not. You gotta market to us and remind us why we should do business with you. I'm gonna say that one more time. I only got one witness up in here. <laughs> listen, we're not interested in you. We don't even know you exist. Listen, we are not interested. Why? Because we got a, a, a few hundred other people trying to sell us something. Include me. I'm trying to sell to you. So guess what? I, I, I wrote in this book. You got to remind us to buy your product 500 times. Why? Because the first 400 times, we wasn't paying attention to you. We were trying to see how much we can suck up from you for free. Come on, man. I'm teaching up in here. Listen. You got to sell and sell again. You got to remind us and remind... Listen. The first 400 times, we was not listening. The 21st century consumer is a leech. What? He's a leech. She's a leech. I got people that follow me on, that's why I don't go live so much, because guess what, they're trying to leech up. And I'm trying, now every now and then I, I, you know, I go live and I teach a little something, something, because guess what I know, I got to keep the, the leech close. Because eventually I'm trying to convert the leech into a sale. But I got to market to the leech. Listen, you make sure you buy that book. You can buy it today. You can pre-order it today, okay? Amen. <laughs> the world is noisy. It's noisy with mediocrity, too. See, I was about to kick the Migos. Listen, I ain't hating on the Migos. Migos making money, okay? I respect that. But them boys ain't rapping. They entertain us, which is important. Okay, let me move on. You got to become a salesperson. You got to sell with education and you got to sell with conviction. Let me tell you why education is so important. You're a vegan nutritionist, a vegan chef, a personal trainer. Let me tell you something. You got to help me understand why I need your service. And for those of you who are so sexy that you think you don't have to explain it to me, you're going to fail. Why? Because somebody like me and a few other people, we teach it. You got to remind us, you got to educate, because see, when you educate, you gain credibility with me. I know, I was listening to a, a, a radio commercial a few days ago, it was some divorce lawyers, and it was like three things you should do before you get a divorce, and it was very educational. But in my mind, I'm thinking these boys are smart because they know ain't nobody gonna go do all that and what's gonna happen, they gonna call them because they know what they are talking about. I'm loud, I know, listen, I gotta be loud because you gotta pay attention. Yeah, I was telling my wife, I said, I really gotta do a better job of speaking a little lower. Listening to this dude, I'm like, boy, I'm loud. <laughs> okay but guess what it's noisy when I first started my TV show 
You know, I was like, you know, I'm going to just get on there and, and the anointing, the, the, the favor of God is going to do it. I went two years in a row, I didn't make a dime. When I became a marketer, that phone started ringing. Listen, you got to learn how to market. Okay, I, I, I didn't win back tomorrow. Salesperson, sell with education, sell with conviction. The Jehovah Witness principle, what is that? Let me tell you something. This is the greatest thing I ever learned in entrepreneurship. The Jehovah, and I ain't, please, I'm not knocking. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a marketer, so I'm thinking creatively, okay? So please don't get offended. If you do, shame on you. That ain't my business. But this is the deal. I wanted to call it the religion principle, but I didn't want to call it that because the Jehovah Witness, very, something very special about these people to me. They knock on your door with the attempt to get an appointment with you, sales job, to get an appointment with you to convert you to their religion. Whether you don't know it or not, I don't care what you do, you have to convert me to your religion, to your business. Why do I need you? What is the benefits of me having you when I can get it from somebody else? You know, whether you don't know it or not, you know it, but let me remind you, when you do business, when you tell us what your business is, people go on YouTube and see if they can do it for themselves. Am I lying? We live in a self-sufficient generation. The 21st century consumer leech to be self-sufficient from you. <laughs> Look, he laughing, it's real. So you gotta convert us, you a vegan, you trying to sell us on the reason why you, we should buy your, uh, what you call it, cookbook on being a vegan. You gotta convert me. Next point. You gotta become a creator. Creation creates new followers. Creation creates income. One of the reasons I came here is because I'm intentional about creating new people to know who I am. Intentionally. We started the podcast. I was telling, I was telling uh, me and two other people did it and in my mind I'm like hey we can leverage each other credibility and we can all gain each other followers it's brilliant I didn't want to do it by myself but let me tell you the point of this I came out with a t-shirt because <clears throat> I'm an opportunist as well that's one of the chapters in the book becoming every, all the chapters is become something become this and I'll talk about it but this chapter is called become a creator I came out with a t-shirt a few years ago that says entrepreneur lives matter okay now, let me just say this. This is a, a, a nugget right here. Let me just throw this out. The quickest way to make money is to find out what money is already flowing and you tap into the flow. So me as an entrepreneur, as an opportunist, Black Lives Matter, I say, oh, brilliant. Entrepreneur Lives Matter. Why? Because the entrepreneurship space is growing every day. We got a lot of wannapreneurs and we got real entrepreneurs. And I'm trying to sell a both of them. So I came up with the shirt. And for like two months, I was kind of sad and I was down. And I'm thinking I'm having a devil problem. But in reality, I had the idea two months ago and I procrastinated on the idea. So all of a sudden, I'm kind of sad and I'm thinking I'm rebuking the devil. And the devil ain't my problem. I was my problem because I wasn't creating. Okay? So I created my product and I looked at it like God himself and said, this is good. I'm going to tell you something. This is important. When you create, you have no idea what it can do to your confidence. Right. Let me tell you something. I was rereading the book last night and I, I, I said something. I was like, a lot of people don't start new projects because they already have a history in their database, in their head, that they don't even believe in themselves. So they don't, they don't even try new things. But see, somebody like me, I'm, I'm always trying to start something. I'm trying to start something right now. Okay, so creation creates followers. Creation creates new income. This is important. My family, this young man right here on the camera, this dude loved Chick-fil-A. Took him one time. I knew I shouldn't have did it. That's all he wanted eat, and he paid for his own stuff. But this is the point. I don't eat the chicken sandwich, but I eat the salad. When you create and you produce things, you give the marketplace a reason to want to do business with you because everybody might not be interested in the first thing you do. I got people that buy my books that don't buy shirts. I got people that buy shirts don't buy books. I got people that come to my seminar that don't pay for my life coaching. But I got to create because in my mind, I'm like an octopus and I'm trying to draw people in to create income. Coca-Cola, they got Minute Maid, Zico Coconut Water, the Signing Water. That's products to draw people in. And that's what you have to do. You got to create. Because you are a creator, but you got to tap into that flow. I wrote this book in two years. I wrote this one in 60 days. Hmm. Next point. You got to become a self-proclaimer. 
This changed my life. Jesus self-proclaimed his worth. Let me tell you what I mean by that. A lot of us, you know, Kendrick Lamar told us to be humble. So you think in your mind, when you meet people, you got to tell us who you are and don't be reserved about it. Why? Because it's crowded out here. It's noisy. You only got one opportunity to impress me for me to want to do business with you. And I'm the kind of guy, if you don't simplify it for me, my brain shuts off. Ask my wife. I lose it. I lose it. I'm telling you, I got something in my head that soon as certain words pop up and I don't, my brain shut off in the conversation immediately. You got to master your pitch and why we should do, you got to proclaim. Let me ask you a question. I talk about this in this book and it changed my life. If you make the best chicken sandwich on the north side and you tell me that you do, are you lying or are you telling the truth? You're telling the truth. Well, it's the same thing with business. Proclaim who you are and why we need you. <laughs> are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Hey, man, I just felt like doing that. Them preachers make me laugh when they do that. I don't even talk like that. But listen, it's serious. Proclaim. I look at it like this. I talk about this in, in my book. Okay, my wife, she do natural hair. Raise your hand, sweetheart. Okay, there she go, the pretty lady in the back. This is the deal. Check this out, check this out. Now this is how I think. Somebody walk into her shop, I walk in. She got a relaxer. My wife has to proclaim why she needs to stop frying her hair and go natural. Cause you know, black is the new cool. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So. She got to proclaim why she need it versus, well, you know, you know, if you ever feel led to come, you know, let me know. Make, no, 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 no. Don't talk like that. You got to create urgency in why you are the bomb. Right. right. You heard your boy? It's serious, okay? You got to proclaim who you are. This is my last point. You got to become a student of whatever it is you do. I love this. You know, I, learning is accumulating knowledge. Studying is saturation of that knowledge you gotta sit look, look at the definition the devotion of time and attention to acquiring knowledge on an a, a, academic subject especially by means of books listen when i talk when i when i think about okay <laughs> hey man he went to the line of scrimmage changed all i mean the boy had the people Come going crazy now. He would have a pass play, but that's because he knew the defense so in and out, he can change the play in a second and create a profit, create a bonus because he knew his business. Yes, sir. You got to become saturated in whatever it is that you do so you can sell it. And why we need you. You got to become a student. Okay, we was watching power. We just started watching power a few uh, a few months ago. I met, you know, I took a picture with Tommy in New Orleans for Essence, and I took us, you know, me, I'm, a, you know, I say I never watched one episode, but I had to get a selfie. And then after that, you know, we started watching it. But them police, they sit up in them rooms and they look at how they do all this from just staring at pictures all day. Listen, they are immersing themselves and trying to get to these people. That's what you gotta do. You are first a salesperson as an entrepreneur. You gotta learn how to sell. I'm, I'm gonna just tell you this story and I'm out of here. Cause this is important, it's coming to my mind. Lady walked up to me. I have an audio program with me teaching on entrepreneurship. It's called My Passion is on Steroids. Lady walked up to me. No, I walked up to her. Hey, would you like to, uh, how much is it? I said $10. Ooh, I'm broke. She lying, they lying. Them people they ain't broke. They spent $300 on Beyonce or whatever they spent. They not broke. Okay, you stop being so humble that you believe them. They lying to you. They got your money. 